Hello friends, this is Nageshwar. Welcome to my channel ITBot143. In this tutorial, I will show how to install and configure FTP server in Windows Server 2008 R2. To install FTP server, open server manager and click on add roles. Next, select web server. Next, next and here just scroll down come to security please select IP and domain restrictions and scroll down select FTP server after that click on next click on install After completing the installation, close this and come to start, open computer, come to C drive and here I want to create one folder and I want to copy few files into this folder. And I want to share these files through the FTP server. For that, first we need to give permissions. Come to properties, security. Here, come to advanced. Click on change permissions. Deselect this, include inheritable permissions. Remove. OK. Yes. OK. Now click on edit at I'm giving full control apply ok ok after this close this come to administrative tools IS manager Expand this, select sites, right click and select add FTP site. And for physical path, just browse this and come to C drive. Select the folder that we have created and copied our files. OK. Next. And IP address. Select the server IP address. And please remember this port. And you can deselect this. Start F FTP site automatically. Here I am selecting this. And if you don't want to use SSL just deselect this next and here we need to authenticate the users so I, I'm selecting basic come allow access to specified users I'm giving full permissions read and write finish and here my site is created and after this if you want to share these files to your friends we need to create a user for them for that again come to server manager expand configuration and double click on local users and groups Double click on users and here we need to create one user. Now click on create. Okay. 
after creating the user again come to start computer and come to our folder here we need to give permission for that user come to properties security edit at I'm giving basic permission for this user And after this, if you want to restrict or allow entry to the FTP server, again come to the server manager. Double click on FTP site and come to FTP IP v4 addresses or domain names and here you can allow entry or any entry for the specific IP address or range of IP addresses. Minimize this. Now let's come to start open Internet Explorer. Type protocol first and after that and here it is asking for the username and password click on log on here I can access the files stored in the folder. Now again close this. Let's try with other user. Now I got the access with that user. Now this process is limited to within the network in a particular place. Now if you want to access FTP server from outside the network, for that we need to make port forwarding in our router and register the account in dynsdns.com which allows the access to our files across the globe so for port forwarding come to start open internet explorer In router come to port forwarding and please select virtual servers and here just click on add new here enter the port number 21 and internal port also 21 and give the IP address and after that for in protocol please select TCP and status enabled come to common service port here please select FTP and after that just click on save and after this again we need to make a account in dyn dns.com after that you can access your files across the globe 
with this I have successfully completed FTP server installation and configuration in Windows Server 2008 R2. I hope this video will help you in your practice. If you like this video, please click on like button and please share this video with your friends. And please visit my channel ITBot 143 to watch more latest updated videos. And don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you friends. Have a nice day.